I am here on uh, a familiarization visit to the complex, because this is a complex. It's not just a custodial uh, facility, it's a complex of facilities. You have the curriculum medium, custodial facility, you have the female, women custodial facility, you have the maximum, curriculum maximum custodial facility, and I've been to all, and I've moved around this space. Uh, what I did on my, on my entry was to, first of all, assess the road and the general state of things in the complex. And I'm satisfied by one fact, that the planners of this complex actually had, uh, had effective security in their minds. Because uh, aborting the, the tail end of the maximum security is the Navy town. And I won't say more than that. It's just enough. Uh, overseeing the entrance of this uh, complex is the divisional police station. So, and we have quite a sufficient number of uh, security officers from virtually all the agencies that are in charge of security in Nigeria. You have the military, you have the police, you have the civil defense, you have the immigration. And you have the armed squad of the correctional service. So, and uh, of course, they are all properly provisioned with armament and equipment. So the visit was to one, observe the general condition of each of the facilities which I had done to see the governance structure which I have seen to assess the vulnerability within the limit of my own knowledge which I have done and uh, to collect the needs urgent needs medium-term needs, long-term needs, which I think I've had. And uh, from observation, too, I've given them instruction on what they ought to do. And I promise to engage with the state government on some things that must be done to assist in uplifting the environment and supporting both the operatives and the facilities in the in the custodial centers. So it is a worthwhile effort that uh, one gives me the satisfaction that uh, all our facilities are governed properly. The medium security center needs substantial uh, rehabilitation. In this case, facility needs substantial rehabilitation to upgrade it. The women facilities top notch. We must commend the managers of that. They've done very, very well. And uh, it's not just the current one. It's, it, I mean, my note, I said that we must praise the leadership of this center from its inception. It appears as if they are just extraordinary in um, the level of care and effort at uplifting 
and maintaining their structures and other provisions. The maximum clinically considered facility too is, is well maintained. It's in top form. Those outside may not even know that there's a referral hospital here. And it's it's well equipped. And you have uh, you have uh, professionals in charge from doctors to other medical uh, practitioners. And I've told them that uh, they cannot keep to themselves that they have been doing, that they must have robust engagement with the private corporate world for support. Because as I said earlier, the corrections and the facilities they manage at the end of the administration of criminal justice Society must know that if someone is, if, if someone is at the end of a thing, is the apogee, is the most sensitive part because all the investments in criminal control and management, from apprehension of criminal after the commission of a crime. To prosecution, to trial and conviction, will amount to nothing if the custodial end is left porous and weak. So, should there be this clear understanding by all of us, then we cannot put it only at the government. All those who are beneficiaries of a peaceful, secure society must wake up to support the process, to support the institution. So that is the summary of my mission today. Sir, Your Excellency, you talk about the need to search for mapping in any of the correctional facilities at I will not generalize the way you have done. Okay, from what you've seen here, sir. Calm down now. I should be the one that should be in a hurry. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> you are you are a newsman. I said you are, you 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 bunch your process of things. The needs of the female consider center is different from the need of the maximum consider So to just generalize, what is it? Look, first thing. Let, let's don't don't even talk about security. Is the father? Do you understand the meaning of consider center? as against a prison, a penitentiary. What we had before this new enactment are gulags, dungeons, for punishing criminals. We, we don't have those centers anymore. Nigeria, Nigerian uh, consular facility are now reform, reformatory, rehabilitation, reintegration centers. So for, let's, let, let's come to that clear understanding. We don't have a gulag anymore. You have a reformatory rehabilitation and reintegration facilities everywhere. So to make it to make it really so, the efforts have been made to 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 to, to change the concept, to change the impression. To change the appearance, but we need support of all those who care for a safe, to, who care for having a safe and secure society. How? Okay. Environmental beautification alone, beautification of this, of the premises alone, is a major immediate uh, need that we can't leave to government alone. Those who have expertise can come around to help us upgrade through proper, appropriate landscaping and uh, so, aesthetics. aesthetics you know, provision of uh, ornamental flowers, plants and whatever. We, we do a lot of, of things there. This, the layout is fantastic. The layout of all the, all the three centers there. Fantastic and, with, and, and ready for uplifting by people who are committed. Okay.
painting of those structures. A lot has been done here. A lot has been done in, at the female. Uh, but much, much, much still needs to be done at the medium. As to, as to, yeah, we, 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 we could do. We could do with our personnel career. So banks that can, that can give us our personnel careers are welcome. We have, we have professional from the army, from the police, that can handle them. They can buy themselves, but let, 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 them, let them contact us to know the type we need. There, you, you, you have, you have, you have 1,001 ways that you can help to shore up our capacity to make this place impregnable. But as it is now, it is impregnable. It's impregnable by its location. It's impregnable by the, 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 the surrounding uh, support facilities. And so we, we, we are not vulnerable. We are not vulnerable. Don't, don't put words in my mouth. Don't let me repeat myself. We are not vulnerable. There might be issues with motivation. We are not vulnerable. And I want us to be very clear in our mind that if we, if we fail to appreciate the effort of government, it will be too sad. Once again, I want to commend officers, officers and men of the Nigerian military, the army, the Air Force and Navy. They are they are they are they are they are they are patriots. They are committed professionals. They sacrifice their lives to guarantee the the minimum we are having now. We must not forget that a time was when almost the quarter of the Northeast was under the siege of the insurgents. That is not the case today. The insurgents do not have a foothold anywhere anymore. So for us to be that successful in combating insurgency, we must expect some uh, fallout. The fallout, the fallout, the fallout is what we are having. And it is, that is what you see when any phenomenon is about to die. It will be in a, in a death throw. So, the insurgents and the associated uh, evil companions, the bandits, and the other coward uh, criminals, are, the, uh, are, taking, are taking advantage of the fact that the siege in their main theater has weakened and scattered them. So, they are desperately looking for Relevance, uh, relevance, and attention, which, yes, by the social uh, appreciation of it, will be, will be calamitous, as, as we are witnessing. But it is a sign of death. They are on their fight, they are, they are on their way out. Then the pangs, pains, and throes of death. That's what you are seeing. But my assurance to Nigeria is that we are up to it. We are up to it. We are not giving up. We are ready to give them the battle that will totally eliminate them. I am not in any doubt that Nigeria will come out of it very, very well and fine. It's sad that uh, these embarrassments come. But the, 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 the conviction is that we will overcome. All right, so in quick seconds and finally, um, is to ask if the exercise you've carried out here today will be duplicated in other facilities across the country, if that's part of your intentions. And secondly, I've also um, heard um, a few people say that they, don't, they want to partner with services like this, but don't know how and not sure they can in many ways. Um, I'm assuaded today that um, you're training open that government is ready to partner with the public uh, as far as um, upgrades are concerned, as far as um, meeting needs are concerned, as far as a secured society is concerned. So I'd like for you to uh, especially no, on you, are, you are quite right. Uh, there is a controller general or correctional service. He has an office in Abuja. That's Abuja. And if, if Abuja is too distant, the, 
The gentleman by me is the assistant controller general. Is he here in Lagos? He has an office. If that is too far away, the man by me, Friedman, is the controller of uh, corrections in Lagos. There. Yeah. But if that is, if if you if you can't see locate them, come here and and tell them what you can do. They know how to process it. Then my office is equally open. You can get to me and I'm well in Lagos. Whoever does not know me here, then you must query whether he's actually a Lugosian. I'm, I'm, I'm actually one of you here. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a choice. We are saying that we are, we are open to support. For as long as it's not compromised our security, we are open to support. And indeed, society, the early society must come to support us. They are the, they are the highest, largest beneficiaries of whatever they do to support us. As I said, we are at the very end of, uh, of, of, of criminal justice. We, it's, it's, it's like somebody collecting water in a basket. Just wasting his time. If you, do not, if, you, if you overlook what we do here, and you think there will be a society, it's a joke. So we need support of all and sundry to, make, to, to, to guarantee security and safety to all. I'm not saying we are better than anybody. I'm just saying we are a critical part of the administration of justice. criminal justice. In Nigeria, we are a critical part. And we are open to support. Yes, the service has been timid over the years. It does not want to be seen. No, it does not want to be heard. It does not want to be seen. But it's not enough. And people have created a picture of a bogey. It's not so. So of so you enter without your camera, you know, if, if you are asked now to describe how it is here, I'm sure the story you are going to tell will be from what you have had before. It's a place where people, people are, and they are humans. They are, they, are, they, are, they are not monsters, they are human beings, and they are living a human life here. We must support them to live that life. We no longer have a gulag. We have now a custodial facility where every, every right of person is observed. The only thing that is curtailed here is your liberty and freedom. You are restricted. You can't go beyond the confines of the walls. And you have the time for lockup. You have the time to come out. But whether in the cell or outside the cell, we must make life livable and enjoyable. It is for that we are calling for support. And ask if you are doing this, if you are, if you are, well, you are part two of this. We have been doing it. This, this is not my first time in, in consular facilities. I've been, I've been elsewhere. And it's not the first time. I've, I've gone around. I was in Ibadan. I've been to Imo. I've, I've, been, I've gone around. And it's, it's a continuous exercise. And, uh, well, I, it can't be limited to here. So let, let me just... I've told you, our assurance to the judges is that we are, we are committed to guaranteeing Peace, safety, and security of Nigerians. Thank you very much, sir. My Thank pleasure. You.